Woohoo! Hello, my peeps. I think it worked. <laughs> I think it actually worked. I believe we are live. I also know that I'm late, so I'm going to give it a minute and I'm going to um, struggle some more with Facebook, which didn't want to connect. It took three tries. Third time's charm, that's what they say. Uh, and now I'm going to see if I can get Facebook to connect so I can see comments. And in the meantime, I'm going to drink some tea. I can see, at least I made it as far as Facebook. That was the, that was the hold up the last time. So it's Wednesday, seeing if people are noticing that I've changed my days. Uh, it was a good, I don't know if it was a good week or a bad week to pick to change my schedule. I'll tell you that story in a minute. I would just really like my darn comments to come up so I can see who's there. Because I don't know if there's a way to see it on this, on the Zoom um, thingy. <laughs> View stream on Facebook. Hmm, I wonder if I should be hitting that button. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to see the comments on Zoom. Like, I'm sort of linking through Zoom to get here because that seems to be the only way I can do it. Oh, and somewhere in the process, unmuted my computer. Well, that's fun. All righty. Seriously, technology. I I have uh, I have little patience right now, so technology might be my undoing. Okay, I see the comments. I don't see any comments, but I see the section for comments. So I know I've at least made it that far. Oh, let's see. Should I ramble or should I just start talking and over the mess? How about I save my story for a minute? But you have things in order. The only way I can remember anything is I just like have a pile of stuff. <laughs> I have things to show you. Look at this. Sneak peek. Woohoo. Um, <laughs> all sorts of things going on. Where is my other basket of cards? Well, dirt if I know. No, I do. I really do wonder. Okay, I give up. Um, I'm just gonna start. So, Saturday was our retired product sale, and it was awesome. We had so many people come out. Time, time was just it was like super speed. We lots of lots and lots of work in the weeks leading up to it. And then the show, the, the sale didn't start till 11 or 12. So we were meeting there at 1130 to get, you know, kind of unloaded or so we, we could have the room at 12. So we could get in and set up and stuff. So we're getting our stuff all ready. I had so much stuff. I couldn't even fit it all in the Jeep. So my friend who had got some of her stuff taken in a different vehicle had room in her car. So thank goodness for that. Put the rest of the stuff in there. And thank goodness for a 14 year old who I can bribe with Slurpee money to help do some of the lifting because otherwise I probably wouldn't be moving right now. So we got everything there and we started to load it in and the other lady started to show up. There were six of us total. One, two, three, four, five, six. There were seven of us total and big room, just tons of stuff. So it was supposed to start at one for the VIPs and then 1.30 for general public. And so VIPs was generally like people on your team, um, your customers, uh, anybody in one of your clubs or anything like that. So people started trickling in at, you know, quarter to 10 to, and I remember looking at, I was trying to also text somebody a message because we're all still trying to finish getting set up and all of a sudden people are, and I kind of, I, I kind of looked down and was trying to get the last minute stuff done, knowing that people were going to come in and send a quick text to someone. And next thing I know, I looked up and it was quarter to three. It was just solid people. And I mean, it's the best kind of people, the people that you could sit there and chat stamping with and get all excited over sets that are, you know, 20 years old or 10 years old and look at this paper and oh my God. So, I mean, it was a fun event, <laughs> don't get me wrong. And I did manage to get rid of a lot of stuff. Uh, yes, I have a lot of stuff left, but that's not the point. I got rid of a lot of the stuff. It all moved on to happy homes for somebody else to play and create with and have fun with. So that was good. So then on Sunday, I got, I played a little bit. I was just making some cards from a coffee and cards, which I'll show you later. And my little reminder went off on my phone to said, okay, you got to update your schedule. <clears throat> and 
did I warn you at the beginning? I'm just gonna like sit here and ramble and tell you stories today. I hope you're up for that and show you the odd thing. Um, so the little reminder went off on my phone and I just thought, okay, I, I will admit, I am not as young as I used to be. My knee was killing me and my one ankle was killing me for whatever reason. And I just, I thought I gotta take this easy, I can't. So I was like sitting in the comfy chair <laughs> doing tough and the reminder went off. I'm like, oh, I just cannot go back to my desk. I just don't wanna turn the computer on. Now I've been trying for weeks. Um, I can do Canva on my phone. I can make little posters. All my parents so much fun with Canva and the posters and stuff. I can do that all on my phone. I can go into the Facebook scheduling app on my phone and do everything. But for some reason, nothing ever seems to come of it. Anything I schedule on my phone doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to post. So I know if I want to make this work, I have to go to my computer. And I thought, you know, every Sunday, it's the same thing. I'm like, oh, because I do try to go kind of tech free for the weekends. And I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go to my computer. I mean, I want to do all the other stuff. I just didn't want to go to my computer to do it. So I thought, I've got to shift this around. Like Mondays and Tuesdays are super busy. Lots to clean up on. I had a bunch of things. Like we have lots of family stuff this week, this summer. And like, it was just lots going on. So I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to readjust my schedule. So I sat there for a couple hours and tweaked and twer and, you know, tried to figure out how to do it. Like I, to, I had a thing in Tuesday afternoon. It wasn't really working on the time frame, So I made it Tuesday night, but now it's right before something else. So then now I go bang, bang, bang with stuff. Uh, I had like things on Thursday. I seem to always have, if I'm going to have something to do with the school or hockey or something else, it always seems to be on a Thursday. I'm like, well, Thursday's not a good day for lives. So I thought I'm going to shift things around a bit. So then I come up with what is, in my opinion, a genius new schedule. So I had made the Canva poster. There was no, on my phone, there was no point in trying to schedule it, but I had made the poster. So I was very excited. Like said, in my opinion, genius new schedule. I'm like, oh, this looks a little fresh. We'll try some new things. Some of the other things are just sort of, you know, we've been doing them for a while. Let's try some new stuff. So I went to bed Sunday night, all like rare to go Monday morning. But one o'clock Sunday night, my son comes upstairs and proceeds to throw up for the next eight hours <laughs> on and off. Um, having a puppy, a very curious puppy, not so helpful in a stomach flu. Oh, so that was a long day, not a whole lot of sleep. At one point, thank God my son is older and you know responsible. So once I got him through the worst of it, knew it was going to be okay, and we kind of established what was going to happen, I went to lay back down and woke up like four hours later, and he was asleep on the couch. So, and then then it was a, it was a pretty slow day because both of us were very tired. Um, we watched all three of the Cars movies um, while both of us laid in our respective you know fetal position in the living room. Um, yeah, it was just a long day. So I, I managed to get my calendar posted somewhere along the way, not on time, but somewhere along the way, I think I did. And then I thought, okay, so now, now how am I gonna, like this week, I'm already behind, how am I gonna get this going? So it hasn't quite been according to the plan, but I do have a plan. So yes, Sundays, I'm not doing anything. Now, most of my in-person events are Saturdays and Sundays. So it's not like I'm not doing anything on the weekends, but I'm really trying to avoid technology and sitting there and do, you know, so Monday, I will say, I will post my plan and, and that will leave Monday open to be the crazy busy day that it is. And I have a standing engagement every Monday for like the last two and a half years, Monday night. So I like to be like prepped and ready for that. Um, on Tuesdays in the morning, I'm going to do dealer's choice. So because I, there's, there's so much stuff I wanted to show you guys and talk about and tell you and things to help you and things to just inspire you. And, um, and sometimes I, I can't always make it fit into the, the previous categories I had. So I'm like, this is perfect. This is dealer's choice. I can do what I want and I'm gonna make it work based on whatever's going on. So uh, sometimes it'll just be a deal. Like if we find out on Tuesday morning, there's a wicked sale or something going on, I, that, that might be what I tell you. Cause hey, if I, can, if I can help you get more for less, I will do that. Um, if I've had something for the weekend, I got a projects or something. I made a card this yesterday. Um, I've been blocked for a little bit. The last few days because I'm stuck on one project and I'm, I refuse to like take the parts of it off my desk until I move on but yesterday I realized I'm like oh I got another one that's got a, an even quicker deadline I better do it and I'm so stoked with how well it turned out and how much fun it was to make and once it makes its way to BC and the person gets it I will show you a picture of it but I'm like so stoked with this so nonetheless that might be what I would show you um I, I think I might add the odd challenge. I think I might do a couple of mystery cards. That's what I do on Monday nights, mystery card Monday. And um, 
my friend Tamara started doing it right when the pandemic first started. And it's so much fun. Here's a list of supplies, make a card. I'll come on and make my card. And when we're done, we'll show our cards and see what it looks like. So it might be that the odd time, who knows what it'll be. So then Wednesday nights is gonna be my show and tell. Now, again, I have a project that has to be finished. So that is like taking over my desk right now, but uh, so show and tell, it could be a project, it could be techniques, it could be the paper pumpkin, I could be making my 3D, you know how I love me, my 3D treat holders. It could be any one of those things. So that's what that's going to be. Now tonight I got a whole bunch of stuff to show you just to kind of get caught up. And that's that's what we're going to do here shortly. Um, Thursday is now going to be the day for the newsletter because we, while we get most of our news on Tuesdays, a lot of things also post on Wednesday afternoon. And it, just to try to like shift it, so I'm not trying to race um, I realized in my last newsletter something, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, we'll just see if you noticed it, but something was like started and then something else shifted and then something went over here. And so it, if you if you read it all and went, that doesn't make any sense. Yep, it's because I was rushing and <laughs> because it doesn't make any sense. So I'm trying to like space those out so maybe they'll make a bit more. My second live of the week is going to be on Friday mornings, well, Friday noon, um, and it is going to be called Products on Parade. And that was somebody else's, that's a stamping up term from like years ago, but I always just thought it was so much fun. So it could be any number of things. Um, I'll, just, I'll just grab the first random thing I see on my desk. This is one of the items you can get during celebration. I love this when <laughs> these get packages. Um, it's a free item when you spend 60, that's how celebration works, right? And this is this great paper. I thought it was going to be like really stiff, but it's this really nice paper. And it's white with gold and silver patterns on it. So those are gold, gold, gold. These are silver, silver. And there's multiple sheets of it, right? Six by six. So for making car bases, tree, oh, there's all sorts of fun stuff. So that might be the, that it might be as simple as showing you this project or this product, and then several projects that I made with it. Like it, you know, and just to give you ideas for what it is or what's new, or sometimes when I'm trying to think if there's, Oh yeah, there is. Look at that. Um, this is one of the new punches. I got to do it. So there we go. Now you might think um, that I'm a little bit odd. Well, if you if you've known me for any length of time, you'll know that I'm a little bit odd. But so I was most excited about this punch because of this corner thing. Now here's how these punches work. And this might be this might this is like sneak peek of what you might get. I'm not going to obviously do this one because I'm doing it now, but I'll show you real quick. So these are corner punches. So you you put your piece of paper in, and there's little there's little guides that are holding you, right? So and then you push down. Now what this one does is it it cuts these corners like this. Now you might think, uh, okay, but here's the thing. I like to do that on, on on various things, like especially making tags and stuff like that. But the number of times that I can actually cut the corner straight, and my trick has always been. I cut this one off and then I try to flip it over here and I use it as a, but they're never the same. And then, you know, you cut one crooked and then, so you try to even it up and even it up and even it up and pretty soon your paper's this big. So <laughs> yeah, I was very excited about this. But there's, here's a couple other things for you to know about it. And these are the kind of things I'll tell you just because, because I, I do watch a lot of videos and as a demonstrator, we have access to a whole lot more stuff than you guys do. And I like to share anything I learned. So here's another one. This one I knew ahead of time, but this is, just, oops, I was trying to cheat and not cut that piece of paper. Um, this one is like just a little slot when you're making tags and stuff. And the beauty of it is it's a perfect size house by hand to feed ribbon through, right? So that's awesome. Um, here's another trick I noticed. And you might, you might have figured it out. You might have figured it out the hard way though. And that's always the worst time to figure it out. So this one here makes these funky corners, right? Ta-da. Now, if you flip your paper over and put it in like this, you can get like really cool stuff, right? But the thing I learned on the page was if you put it in this way, oops, you get to do this. You get a, a slightly different profile, right? This one is round with a point. This one is scooped with a point. So if you had put your piece of paper in and you were trying to make a project and you ended up doing this to it, you might not be impressed because you, you did two different profiles. So it matters which way you put it in, right? So maybe, so maybe that's, that's the product on parade, right? Maybe I'll show you this. Plus look at these cool little things. They almost look like picture, you know, the little picture corner things you used to slide in, only they're a little fancier, fancy. So, 
Maybe that's what product parade is. Maybe it's me telling you that I have picked, we got our, we got our, our Christmas catalog and I was able to order like the pre-order. That's the, maybe one of my favorite things about being a demonstrator is the fact that you can order early so you don't have to wait because I have zero patience. Um, and so I have picked the set with, that we're going to use for our holiday head start in August. It is called Spruce Up and it has the most divine dyes. Look at this little string of light and these, oh, I just can't wait to start playing with this. So when I, when I make some samples, when I get to that stage, um, one of the products I'm afraid was going to be this. And anything I figure out as I go, like this little, this little dude here is the string of lights. There's no stamp that goes with it. So what I'm thinking is, how am I going to make all these lights a different color? Like I want a green string of lights with white. Or do I just make this out of white, maybe the thicker cardstock? And do I just color them or watercolor them? Or do I make this out of green and then put little jewels on each one? So, you know, I'm going to try all these things and then I'm going to share it with you so that you know. Sometimes it might be, yes, I want that set. Sometimes it might be like, whew, not buying that set. Thanks. Glad she showed me. Um, and sometimes it might just be, oh, so that's how that works, right? So that's the idea behind product now, pray. Now I timed, I was rambling there a little too much. And I timed out my thing, so I'm going to go back on. Um, <clears throat> and then, yes, on Saturday, I'm still going to do a blog. So generally, if I show you a project, on Wednesday and it has any kind of measurements or you need a whole bunch of pictures or instruction or whatever, I'm going to do that in the blog because um, it's just it's just easier. Uh, one of my cameras has frozen, so I'm just going to turn it off because it's screwing up everything on my end. There we go. Um, okay, we're back. Um, so as it turns out, what I showed you last week which I know I kept them nearby, <laughs> just a minute. Oh, yes, um, which is this, this card. This is what was supposed to be in the blog. Now, I purposely did, I, I, like I, I had said, I wasn't having a blog this past Saturday because I knew I was doing the sale and I was going to be last minute getting those last bits of everything ready and in. So I made this card last week, but this will be on my next blog because I haven't given you the all the dimensions and stuff yet and extra pictures. Isn't this the greatest? This is the set we're using in September. Happier, happier than happy, I think it's called. I always say the wrong thing. I always want to say happier than thou, but I know that's not what it's called. Um, oh, I love this. And this is a zigzag card. So this will be in the blog. So that's usually how it works, right? A card that has a bit more stuff to it. That's what goes in the blog. So this is how my week's going to roll up. So there's lots of different things. And if anything's going to change or if there's a live event or something like this weekend, we have a, a demonstrator event. They This year, instead of having... Um, well, they keep changing things and COVID keeps making things. And so they're trying different stuff. Um, so we had back in April, we had a half day that was all kind of like about business type stuff. And then this Saturday, we're having a half day, which is all just, it's all virtual. Um, that is just all creativity and making stuff and seeing some new products and techniques and stuff like this. And it's just fun to get together and stamp, right? So if I'm doing the market, if I, you know, if I have a class coming up, so it's either I like to call my classes fun names. So we have Saturday nights, all right, for stamping and Sunday for afternoon. So if one of those two happens to be happening in, during the week, it'll be posted in there just as a reminder. I usually plan it that <clears throat> it's better if you RSVP and order all your stuff ahead of time. But even if at the last minute you wanted to come and you wanted to just drop in, let me know and there'll be, there'll be some form of something you can make as a drop in. It may not be the full package. I might have an extra set depending how the numbers work out, but just so you know. So I will post my schedule on Mondays and then you can sort of, as I plan my week and you plan your week. I do sit there on Sundays, most Sundays, going, okay, what's coming up? What have I got on the calendar? What can I fit in? What can, you know? So that's kind of how I do it. <clears throat> okay, let's talk catalogs for a minute now. So that's my excuse. Get, oh, here's the other thing with my new schedule. I would like you to tell me what you want. So if there's a particular product you want to see, a particular project you want to see, a technique you would like to learn. You see a card and you think, oh my God, that's cool. How do I make it? I'm pretty good at looking at stuff and figuring it out. So if there's any of those things you want to do, you let me know. And if I don't have the exact product you want, one, I might be able to borrow it. But two, I probably have something close enough to give you an idea how to use it. So, and I do have most things. So, so I would like some feedback. And the more you can tell me, the more fun we'll have doing this stuff together. Okay, on to the catalogs. This is the mini catalog. As you will notice, June 2022. This catalog expires in about 15 days. 
Um, is that actually, oh, I, I just realized I didn't turn the sound off on my phone. I should tell you the whole ordeal of the doctor. Still haven't talked to the doctor. Got hung up on twice, couldn't get through to anybody. What do you mean referral? We never did a referral. Oh, here, you can make another appointment. Here, she'll call you. Yeah, none of that's happened. Um, it is an ordeal. Okay, so the 30th is actually a Thursday. Okay, so not next Thursday, a week from Thursday, a week for, or two weeks from tomorrow, I guess that would be. This catalog retires and the stuff in it. So I, I've already told you, I think this is the right catalog. Um, we went through this on one of the things and I told you, like some of this stuff is retiring, some of this stuff, a bundle's retiring, um, like the bundle pricing's retiring, but the two components aren't. Some of the stuff's on sale. Like there's all sorts of different things happening with this, right? A ton of this stuff is already sold out. It's well supplies last. It's been on sale for two weeks. Like, well, they announced the retirement um, prices more than that. So people got their list ready, but does this, this, any of the thing that were on sale, they've been on sale for two weeks. So a lot of stuff and just catalogs, dies, things that people want. They know that if they wait, they're not going to get it. So a lot has sold out. So instead of looking in your catalog to find out if there's stuff you want, and I'm more than willing to help if you have questions, if you want to help, help putting through your order, if you just can't figure out if something's available or not, you let me know. But here's the thing, you're going to go to the website, right? So for me, it's tracystewart.stampinup.net. Um, I've put links to my online store and like numerous posts and stuff like that. You can just find them. You can just Google Stampin' Up Tracy Stewart and you'll find me too. But when you get to the Stampin' Up website, <laughs> make sure you're on the Canadian one. There'll be a .ca if you're just going to the website. Um, and these, these three little lines will drop down. If it's cooperating, it'll drop down. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Maybe I'll try my pen and see if I have any more luck. I love this Apple pen. Or maybe I'm just having the same technology that I usually have. Do, do, do. Here, I just give that a little, give the pen a kickstart because I did just charge it. So it's possible it's not even working right now. Um, it's so funny that, that how quickly these things link and go and, all right, so we're just gonna pretend. So the Stampin' Up menu will drop down. Actually, you can go here too. I was gonna say go there for last chance and then I realized this is what's here. Find the heading that says last chance, whether you drop it down from those three lines, which maybe will cooperate with you or this. Seriously. See, this is me and technology today. And this is why on weekends when I'm trying to have a peaceful, relaxing day, I don't go near technology because technology, okay. My point is, go to where it says last chance products, either here or it looks at, I usually just go to the three drop down lines. And I, for the life of me, cannot figure this out. Let's see, move that out of the way just so that I have to punch any codes in or anything. It'll, nope. Okay, so my iPad's not doing squat. But, anyways, what comes up, this is basically the best way to do this because this, this website is live. So, whatever comes up is available. If you're looking for this windmill dive, so there's two, two look sets in here. I'll give you an example. There's two tulip sets in here. And because we used them at our extravaganza, I have them marked. Um, so I'll just do this. So we have two of them in here, right? This one is carrying forward in the annual catalog. This one is retiring. So let's say you want this one and you go look and you find the stamp set, but you can't find the dies. It means the dies are sold out. If you can't find either one of them, it means the whole bundle is sold out. But the best place to go is right straight into the last chance. If you just go and look under stamps, you're going to get every stamp available. And there are still a lot of stamps available. And a lot of ones are in the annual catalog. So it'll take you longer to find stuff that way. Your best chance is just go to where it says last chance. So only two weeks left to buy stuff in here. Some of it's already sold out. Let me know if you need help with any of this stuff. The annual catalog came up. This, we're in this sort of catalog. There's a the catalogs are there's three there's three times a year that they happen but right now a lot of it happens at once <laughs> so the annual catalog ends at the end of april and goes to may so we just got a new annual catalog um i i dropped off catalogs with everybody but one person and i'm not quite sure who the one i had one more package made up and i'm not quite sure who i forgot to drop off a catalog to because some of them i gave to other people to drop off to. um because they were going right by. So this is the annual catalog. If you do not have one, let me know. Yours will not be coil bound or have my name on the front. <laughs> um, oh, so much stuff in here. And there's like some of the products I'm gonna show you in the upcoming product parade is 
well, you've already seen me do the in colors in the tea boutique because, oh, do I love them. But one of the other things, I was trying to do that so daintily, it didn't work. There are so many standalone dyes and new dyes that came out in this catalog that do some of the most amazing things. Um, so some of those I'm just going to show you. Here's some of them. The deckled rectangles, loving those. Little crackers. Oh my goodness, I had one on my desk. Nope, of course, of course I don't have there now, but I did have one. So if you need one of these, let me know. I'm going to start showing you a lot of products out of there because there's so much fun to be had. Now this is the next set of catalogs that I'm dropping off. And like I said, they all just sort of seem to hit. The one, the occasions mini goes from January to June. The holiday mini goes from July to August or July to December. So the holiday one basically has fall holidays. So Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christmas. Lots of Christmas, everybody's favorite crafting Christmas. The other one has spring holidays, right? So spring and Easter, Mother's Day, Valentine's, Father's Day, that's what's in the other one. So these are the two ones that sort of hit the other stuff. Annual catalog is more the, the base stuff that runs the gamut for the year. So I started handing out some of these. Um, I have a couple more still to drop off because I just got these a few days ago. So if anybody needs them, let me know. So this is how it works, right? You spend $60 on anything, whether it's out of this catalog, the annual catalog, stuff on the clearance rack, you get to pick a free celebration item. I can't show you the inside of these yet. I was about to open it, but I can't. Um, if you spend $120, there's some like higher level celebration items here. Um, can I can I grab them without starting a landslide? That is always the question, isn't it? Like every time that seems to be the question. I have it all sitting next to me because I'm trying to like focus on the new stuff and looking at, okay, I can't do it. Anyways, what I'll tell you is sometimes celebration, I'm like, oh, cool. Yep, I got some choices in there. This celebration, it's one of those want it all ones. Uh, this catalog will help you do that because it's like, I want it all too. So the more you spend here, the more you get here. <laughs> Ooh, handy how that works. Anyways, if you need either one of these catalogs, let me know because I'm still passing these ones out. I haven't quite got that far. So if I've confused you on catalogs, drop me a line, I will explain it all. Just needless to say, there's lots going on. Hello, Nikki. Um, okay, catalogs. Let's move on to our next round, which is in person. So people have not been the big fans of the virtual, and I get that, that's not for everybody. But now that we can sort of start getting back into the in-person, I'm focusing on in-person. Um, I still would like to do virtuals, and I forgot my little graphic. The 25th, which is next Saturday, like a week from Saturday, um, I have scheduled for a kit together, and I have a bunch of kits. I'm going to put together the new um, thank, Million Thanks one that I got. Um, I, I actually, I meant to check that one. It was, it was, the last time I looked, it was temporarily unavailable because they're such a popular kit. Don't forget, kits are buy one, get one for half price right now. So if anybody wants to get in on the kit together, so far nobody's taking me up on it, which is fine. So if nobody does, then there will, I'll just Zoom with myself and just craft away and talk to myself. <laughs> it won't be the first time. Um, but if you want to get in on that, if you already have a kit or if you need a kit, let me know and that we're going to do that. So that'll be virtual. So there is a way to, to just kind of get together and chat and do some crafting. Um, but we also have the in-person stuff going again. So I had so much fun with the He's the Man. Nice small little group, but oh my goodness, lots of fun. So this one is coming up on the 10th of July at the Leisure Center. And I posted pictures already of the cards, which is good because for the life of me, I have no idea what, what I did with them. <laughs> so I can't show you them because I set them off to the side so nothing happened to them and now I don't know where I put them. But what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna make these five cards. Most of this stuff I'm prepping for you, right? So you gotta pick your sentiments to stamp on here. Um, we're going to make have a little bonus of a bag that they all fit in and make this cute little tag and stamp on the bag and have lots of fun. Um, if you want to order, so you can order just making the cards, right? Come to the class, make the cards. You get all the stuff you need. You get a package of, of um, the matte dots so you can bling to your heart's content. That's for $30. If you want to up it to $75, then you get the cup of tea bundle, basically. Now, the bundle itself is $62 plus shipping plus tax. So if you up it, it's, it's basically just um, with a bundle, you pretty much get the free class with the rest of the stuff. Um, this is the cost of the bundle and I think the mats and then everything else is basically free for you. Now, currently these teacup dies, which are so much fun to play with, um, are temporarily unavailable. I, you know, I have them in front of me too, <laughs> darn. Um, 
So I started putting stuff away. I think you're actually, I think I actually did put them on the shelf. Yep, I can see they're too far over. Um, so here's the thing. If somebody wants to get the bundle to go with this class, and, and let me tell you, you won't regret it. You will have many, many times using them. Let me know as soon as possible, because a second, oh, hello, Laurel. Um, oh, Laurel, I'm having so much fun with this bundle, and the paper is luscious. All the in colors, oh, it's luscious. Um, these dyes are supposed to be back in on the 4th of July. You are sick. You, um, anyway, um, so I'm going to watch for them. And the second they're back in, I will order the bundle if you want. Now, the bundle may or may not be here by the 10th, but I will get it as soon as I can so you have it. And you'll just use all my stuff on the class, and then you'll be fine. So this one, um, I, I've got a couple of people registered. Ideally, I need four people per class. I'll hit this my inside thing. I need four people for class, um, or it costs me money to do them. I'm going to keep doing them for a while because I know you guys want them. But it'd be really nice if I could get at least four people to a class. So RSVP is next week, next Monday, um, because I do have to order a couple extra supplies and I want to make sure they get here. And th that th the Christmas catalogs that I showed you, uh, come participate with the whole pack. Oh, excellent, Laurel. I'm going to keep my eye out for the bundle for you then. Um, so the Christmas catalogs that I showed you, demonstrators have been able to pre-order, but everybody gets to start ordering on the 1st of July. So I need to order a few more things to make this class and I got to get it in before the onslaught of people ordering. Because once you see those catalogs, you will understand. Um, you will understand why so many people are going to order out of the catalog. Okay. Um, so I showed you the spruce stuff, right? Okay, so that's, so then I'm doing another class in August, which I will have, oops, I did this, right here, it just said from the holiday mini. This one's on the 13th of August. Um, I will, now that I have the set and get start to play with it, I'll make some projects and show you what that one is. Um, I do believe I might have to reschedule the one that's in February. It might have, or February, <laughs> September. It might have to go one week later. I'm waiting to find out about something else. So, but for now, you know, we're using this bundle and oh my goodness, this is the most delicious bundle. The paper, the dyes, the stamps, everything. It is awesome. That's the one I showed you the zigzag card a little earlier, but this is also... What greets me every day on my desk is my little dimensional holder. I even put little dividers in now so that my dimensionals are fancy. <laughs> but, uh, and my and my dancing bear on the stuff. I, I just love it. I love to look at it. I can't, I can't get enough of that sweet. So those are coming up. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, hottest ticket in town is actually coming up in October. We're doing a Christmas extravaganza. So this is it. This is what we're doing. We're doing it on the 22nd and we're already half sold out. All we had so far is when we did this in March, we offered the people who came to the one in March first dibs at seats for this time. We had 30 seats in March. We upped it to 36 because we're going to spread out a little bit. We got a little bit bigger room spread out a little bit, but we still want to keep it manageable and have, we'll have everybody have lots of space to craft. So we're up to 36 seats and yes, half full. Um, tomorrow it opens to everybody. So tomorrow I'm going to post this poster on my, my stuff, my socials. Um, I, always, I always sound so, or feel like so hip when I say I'm going to post it on my socials, but I will post all the details. Um, it's going to be so much fun. Oh, and the projects. And I said, oh, so this, it tells you what you get. It tells you when you have to do your stuff, what you need to bring your own little tools. It's going to be so much fun. Here's the deal. This basically, all the stuff that's in this package is comes out to just under 90 bucks. So that's the cost, right? On the 1st of July, we are ordering, anybody who's registered, we're ordering your stuff. So we don't have to worry about anything selling out, anything being late, any of the stuff we've been dealing with. We are gonna order it, we're gonna have it in hand. It's gonna be sitting here ready for you to go in October. So if you wait, order after the 1st of July, it's actually gonna cost you a hundred bucks because as people register afterwards, we're gonna have to order. And it might be, especially if things are starting to show low inventory, it might be that we just ordered just your stuff, which means you're paying, it's actually $11, but we wanted to keep the numbers even. So uh, we're paying $11 shipping on it because we're going to order it as soon as we can because we want to make sure that things don't get sold out. Um, last year, some of the stuff, like I know at Halloween, there was a couple really popular products that got sold out and didn't get back in stock till November. So that was not super helpful for Halloween. And I mean, there's only so much Stampin' Up! could do about it, but the best thing we can do to avoid that scenario is order early. So that's what we're doing. So this one, when I post tomorrow, um, it, is, it, it is for reals, 
going to be a great time. And yes, half sold out already. Uh, let me see what else. Okay, so that's all my paperwork underneath there. Oh, I so badly want to show you this card on my desk because I haven't put it in the mail yet. Oh, it's so awesome. Um, but I don't know if the person who it's for will actually see it if I show it now, so I can't. So here's the other thing I'm working on, and I'm and just because I like to have, I have to show you at least something cute. Um, here's a sneak peek from the holiday catalog. <laughs> and oh my goodness, this won't surprise you that I love this, but oh my goodness, do I love this set. Um, I'm working on trying to figure out if I can get some coffee and cards or smoothies and stampin there's two different places in town um, i had intended to go on monday to check them out but as i said stomach flu instead with my son that was so much more fun look at the little scotty dogs so this this is with a punch so i punched one in each direction just so you could see that i guess because if you wanted to make an anniversary card or something you could like they could be facing each other so this is with the punch um, this stamp set comes this little stamp here is part of the stamp set. And then there's a punch that comes with it. This little bow punches out. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this. So he here's one of the versions of the note card that we're going to make. This Laurel, if you are still undecided, this adorable, like these flowers and stuff. And this is one of my favorite fonts I've seen in a long time. This thank you. This actually comes from the T Boutique. And here's one of the new little uh, embellishments that was in the annual catalog, there was all these cute little flowers. There was gold and silver metal ones. And then there was all these bright, colorful ones and all these bright, colorful, um, uh, like matte dots and stuff. Oh my goodness. I was having so much fun with them, but I absolutely love these tiny little flowers. So there's one more of the cards. And then another sneak peek from the holiday catalog. Um, I love me a good pun. And this one just, this one just worked for me. <laughs> and I put little, I don't know if you can see, but I put little um, dots on so they look like little buttons. And then I, I did make a girl version too, if you wanted to have a little more girly or more flamboyant, whatever. Um, and this is one of those little metal flowers. But it's time for a cardigan. <laughs> that cracks me up. So these are my, um, I just realized my, my comments are not progressing. There we go. Um, tell us about today. Yes, I got you down for the, um, extravaganza Laurel. Uh, cute. I know. I'm, I, hi, my name's Tracy and I'm an enabler. Um, oh my goodness. This is so adorable. So I love this. Um, anyways, yeah. So I'm going to be trying to get coffee and cards or stamps and smoothies off the, off the ground here sometime in July. I have to go to the places, find out if they want to do them and then what's the best time to do. And I'm going to try to get a, I'm going to try to get a really Good time going. Okay, I got to show you something. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I don't want to blow it in case she sees it. Um, but just to give you a hint, <laughs> I made a Wordle card. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm so stoked about. Anyway, um, I keep I keep picking things up and putting things down and picking things up. Oh, I'm a little overtired. I will admit that. That maybe that's really evident, and I didn't even have to tell you that. So there's my catch up on all the different things that are going on. Um, my what did I say comes out tomorrow my newsletter that comes out tomorrow is uh will recap all of these things as well so that if you missed any of that stuff that as I was going a mile a minute um now you know um but yeah I, I wanted to uh, just at least chat a little bit and tell you like I said best laid plans I had a new schedule I was already ready to hit the ground running and then my son got the stomach flu and that sort of changed my week a little bit so next week knock on wood will go smoother but this week we're recovering we're doing stuff i will have pretty things to show you on friday i haven't even decided which product yet but there will be product and i will show you things um and i will post all the details of all the in-person stuff and other things that are coming up in my newsletter tomorrow and i'm so looking forward to seeing some people on saturday to sample with and um that's it laurel i got you down on your stuff that you mentioned and I'm going to go uh, make a few notes for my newsletter tomorrow. So I remember everything that I just came to me as I was talking. <laughs> and uh, thank you, ladies, for joining me. I hope you all have a fantastic evening. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Thanks.